Welcome to Lost in Revision. All of our content is public domain, literature, fairy tales, and folklore. We are here to celebrate the original stories, not just read the modern sanitized versions. We post short segments of stories daily and monthly full episodes where we read and discuss popular classics. Come and find us on Patreon to listen to the full chapters early and without interruption. Our goal is to at least break even to cover our expenses, so any support that you can offer to help us reach that goal helps keep this podcast going and you entertained. All of our music is by Nathan Hubble and is used with his permission. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Chapter 15 Paul Bunyan's Last Exploits Part 1 it is regrettable that the records of Paul Bunyan's adventures on the Pacific coast are not more complete. Not nearly so much is known of his work there as has been told about his earlier labors. Indeed, only a few stories have come down to us regarding the logger's later years. Such neglect may, however, seem quite natural when one considers that it is in the East in the Dakotas and in the Lake States, that Paul performed his greatest deeds and carried on the mightiest logging the world will ever witness. Accordingly, historians have been interested principally in preserving the records of his work there and have not had the time to pay much attention to the lesser things which he accomplished in Washington and Oregon. It is said that on his trip westward, Several days after leaving the Lake States, Paul became a little careless while thinking over several matters of importance and allowed the sharp end of his heavy peg to drag on the ground. Holding it loosely with one hand as he walked along absorbed in deep thought, he permitted it to drag for quite a distance before his attention was called to the damage he was doing. Wherever the sharp steel end had scratched along the earth, it had dug right down through rock and rubble, making a tremendous gash many miles long and hundreds of feet deep. Paul Bunyan certainly left his mark on that part of the country, and anyone who has seen the Grand Canyon can have no doubts about the size of the great logger, knowing that his peavey made such a mark. Among the better known of Paul's faithful followers who accompanied him to the Pacific coast was one strange old codger who was named Halfway Hank. Poor Hank had at one time been a most capable lumberjack until one sad day during the big fog when he had been caught and crushed by a falling tree. When he finally recovered from his terrible accident, it was found that only about half of him was left. One arm, one eye, and one leg were gone. And so forever afterwards, he was known as Halfway. Paul sent the unfortunate Jack out to his farm, and there Hank was put in charge of the great hives of bees which kept the camps supplied regularly with wonderful golden honey that was always served with sourdough Sam's flapjacks. Halfway Hank had become quite interested in his new work and was very proficient as well, considering the shape he was in. He developed a surprising agility which aided him greatly as a bee herder, and so expert did he become before very long that he could drive his millions of bees to pasture each morning and back to their hives again in the evening without losing track of a single one of his charges. On Paul's trek westward, halfway Hank brought up the rear of the procession, industriously hopping along on his one leg and herding his bees in a close humming swarm. He drove that great swarm of bees entirely across the country, over high mountains, through terrible deserts, and lost only three bees all the way. At the end of the journey, he claimed that those three would never have been lost if he hadn't been shy of a leg. Finally, Paul and those with him reached a section of the country where the timber grew tall and thick and where the opportunities for logging seemed almost ideal. 
It was among the big trees of Washington, or Oregon, that the great logger finally settled after his long journey from the Lake States, and it was here that he established his new camp. Thanks for joining us today. Check us out on Patreon. The storytime level is only $3, and you can help us meet our small goal of breaking even and covering our expenses. Your support helps pay for all of the things that podcasting requires and helps keep this show alive and growing. If you can't afford to support us financially, go give us a good review, subscribe or follow, and share with your friends and family. Feel free to fact check us and offer suggestions to make our show better for you. You can also send us an email at lostinrevisionpodcast at gmail.com. There's a lot more waiting for us all at the end of the road.